Dallas Cowboys score biggest blowout in history of rivalry with Washington football team. Arlington, Texas. Perhaps Washington wanted to embarrass Dallas when it brought climate-controlled, Washington football team, branded benches to the moderate temperature sideline of a Sunday night football matchup with the Cowboys. Embarrassment, indeed, described the Cowboys football team contest. But it was Washington, suffering a 56-14 defeat, who most suffered embarrassment. Washington's 42-point loss was the worst in franchise history to the Cowboys, the series' most extreme decision formerly a 38-3 Dallas win 28 years ago to the day. The game got out of hand early. Sure, the Cowboys failed to score on their first offensive possession. But then cornerback Trevon Diggs nabbed an interception on the Cowboys' first defensive snap of the game. Diggs' 11th pick, tying Everson Walls for the single-season team record, set up Dallas' initial touchdown, and Washington would never recover. The Cowboys scored by pick six and by big man touchdown, by Ezekiel Elliott's legs and through his arms. Tight end Dalton Schultz, receiver Amari Cooper and receiver Malik Turner caught touchdown passes. Rookie defensive end Chauncey Golston returned a blocked punt for a special team score. Records abounded, their 42 first half points matched the Cowboys franchise record before halftime, the first time they had reached the mark since October 19, 1969. Some players' parents were not yet born then. The Cowboys entered the weekend aiming to re-establish offensive rhythm. They wanted to keep riding a defensive takeaway streak. They wanted to win the NFC East by the end of their Sunday night football contest versus the Washington football team. Done, done, done. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Dot.